Hi guys, how are you? Hi, Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Okay. Thank you. Are, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Would you please start the review? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, last session, uh, first a new word that we had mm -hmm. was short chain. Yes. And um, it means when you uh, get uh, less services than you deserve. Yes, yeah, one of the meanings. Yes. Yeah. Then we had um, due to, which means because of. Mm -hmm had a refund as a um, as a verb yes uh, which means yeah get back money and as you said refund is a, a re regular verb yes. I mean the past tense is refunded yes we didn't know actually mm -hmm. and then we had um, store credit yes it was not in the article, but you add it, and it means uh, instead of a refund, you can get something else when you uh, go to yeah, when you go to a shop and buy something. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had a supply and demand, and demand as a verb means request. Yes, we had in advance, which was a new word to shearing. Mm -hmm. It does not have anything with advanced it means before that time yes yeah and after that we had uh, unprecedented mm -hmm. and actually i think it was it was for the second time that we had unprecedented in different sessions and um in this way it helps us to stick the new words in a, in, a, in our mind yes Mind. yeah yes yeah, we had lawsuits and mm -hmm. class action lawsuits. Yes. Yeah, then we had class act. You added class act, which means excellent, but it's not a formal ver word, I think. Yes, it's informal. Yes. But we can say your diagnosis was class out. Yeah, class act. Act, did you class say Class act. Yes, yes. I just class thought act, that yes. I heard out, and that's why. That's okay. Okay, go on. Oh, yeah. yeah, then we had trickle, mm -hmm. picked up momentum. Mm -hmm. Trickle means small and momentum means became quicker. Yes, it became quicker. It got some speed. Yeah. Yes. In that yeah. context, it meant that, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. And what the last mm -hmm. the last word was elite. Yes, elite. Like elite people. Elite, elite or yes. Or elite people, elite university. Mm -hmm. The elite yeah, society it, too. Yes, very good. Thank yes. you very much, Beza. That was great. Thank you. So, Thank can you. you see the screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Shirin, would you please read the title? This time the title is in the middle of the page. Would you please read it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my summer with yeah. I can't hear you. Sharon, would you please speak up and speak to the microphone? Okay. okay. My summer without a sleepaway camp. Yes. For the first time in its history, the annual camp where jo J Joshua mm -hmm. Chaffin spent his Chaffin mm -hmm. spent and childhood summers won't be opening this year. Yes. So my summer without sleepaway camp. Um, Shirin, what can be a sleepaway camp? If you don't know the meaning of this phrase, you can guess. It's okay. Uh, I don't know the meaning exactly, but I think... No. Uh, Shirin, it's say, I don't know the meaning, not the mean. I don't know the meaning exactly. Uh. I, or, I, or, I don't know the meaning. Yes, say, mm -hmm. I don't know what it means or mm -hmm. I don't know the meaning, not mean. Okay, I don't know the meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is your guess? Uh, I think there is a type of camp that uh, students or uh, 
people uh-huh. uh, sleep uh, in some tent or some camps they uh-huh. are not in their home exactly. and uh, you're correct exactly see you didn't need a dictionary for this so it's a sleepaway yeah. camp <laughs> Do we have that in Iran? Sleepaway camps? Mm, I don't know. Okay. Uh, but I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. For the first time in its history, the annual camp. Annual. What does annual mean? Mm-hmm. Annual uh, year is something that happened. Mm-hmm. Each year. Each year. So uh, instead of annual, in this sentence, if you wanted to put another word, what would it be? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, one time in a year. Yeah, that's good, but oh. it's very long. I just want one word. Uh-huh, one word? Yeah, an adjective, um, like annual. Bezot, if you know, you can say it. Every year. No, no. I want to put it in the sentence. You can't say the every year camp. Can you? For the first time mm-hmm. in its history, the every year camp where Joshua Chaplin, blah, blah. No, you can't say that. Oh, for the first time in history, the annual camp. The yearly camp. Very good. Yes, yearly. <laughs> yearly, yes. I just guessed. <laughs> That's good. That was a good guess. The yearly camp where Joshua Chaffin spent his childhood summers won't be opening this year. This year. Okay. Shira, would you please read the first paragraph? Yes. Right around this time each year, mm-hmm. my parents used to uh, haul me mm-hmm. and, and a duffel bag that was roughly the size of me Mm -hmm. to a parking lot by the highway Mm -hmm. where a bus was waiting uh, amid 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 amid, Mm -hmm. uh, a commission of boy a commotion Mm -hmm. of boys and parents yes very good so Uh, we let me let me let me maximize this one right around this time right mm-hmm. around this time each year my parents used mm-hmm. to howl me what does howl mean mm-hmm. howl um, uh, i don't know but i yes, guess yes. to um, hold hold me or um, no. Send me. Mm, that's good. Mm-hmm. It, it, uh, it means the same thing, maybe, but not exactly. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have anything to do mm-hmm. with hold, no. Bezot, what do you think? Mm-hmm. What does howl mean in here? Uh, maybe to um, uh, put, the, uh, put the child, child in um, special clothing or a cradle. No. No, cradle is for babies. He must be a big child. Yeah. I mean, he went to camp, so he was not a baby. Mm-hmm. How? It's like a register in some place. No, but you're yeah. right to think that it's a verb. It is a verb, but it doesn't mean that. How mm-hmm. means to pull someone, pull someone with force. When you don't want to do something. Mm-hmm. See, for example, uh, we as children didn't like to take baths. So they always mm-hmm. howled us to the bathroom. <laughs> so that is mm-hmm. They would pull you and force to go and take a shower. <laughs> okay? That's how mm-hmm. So this child didn't like to go to a camp. He wanted to mm-hmm. stay at home with the parents and play in the yard, mm-hmm. in the alley. But the parents howled mm-hmm. him, howled him to a parking lot. So that's how. Mm-hmm. Is this, Shirin, the first time you hear this word, how? Yes. Yes. How about you, Bezad? No, uh, it was not mm-hmm. the first time 
-hmm. but um, I uh, couldn't remember the meaning. Okay, so you must have heard and, it and heard it elsewhere. Have you ever ha heard of yeah. a long howl, like long howl flight? No. Okay, I can give you an example and then tell me what it means. Like a long howl flight is like the flight between Tehran and Toronto in Canada. It's a long howl yeah. flight. What does that mean? Shirin, you can say it too. Just guess. Say whatever comes to your mind. Don't censor yourself and don't worry. A flight which is uh, non stop? No. Long howl flight? Mm -hmm. um, a long flight that is. Um, you know, mm -hmm. hard to tolerate or it's uh, bothering. Mm. No, the problem is not the bothering part, but you're close. See, for example, the flight between Tehran and Dubai is not long haul, but the flight between mm -hmm. Tehran and, I don't know, Frankfurt or Toronto is a long haul flight. Because we can, we have to stay and change the flight. No, uh, first of all, you... Shirin, you don't change the flight. Mm. You you have connecting mm -hmm. flights. Uh -huh, connecting, connecting flights. But no, not that. Just suppose. Of course, I know mm -hmm. there are. I don't think there are any any straight lines between Tehran and Toronto. But just suppose mm -hmm. that there were. It has something to do with mm. the distance, like long distance, long distance flights. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. not because it's disturbing. Mm -hmm. This meaning has nothing to do with the one in here. They howled me to the yep. parking lot. Not that. Mm -hmm. So long haul flight is a long distance flight. But howling here long. is a verb. It means pulling with force. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shirin, what about a duffel bag and a duffel bag? That was roughly the size of me. What's a duffel bag? A duffel bag? Mm -hmm. I think I don't. I didn't see this word, mm -hmm. but I don't guess. say I didn't see, Shirin. You should use present perfect in here. I haven't. I don't. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't mm -hmm. seen this before. Okay. I guess. haven't seen this before. Mm -hmm. What's your but, guess? Uh, Mm, a ruffle bag, a duffel bag, it's not good shape bag and... Uh, no, mm, has nothing to do with the shape. Bezat, how about very you? Very big. Excuse me, very what? <laughs> what did you say? Very big. Big? Big. Could be big, big. could big. be small, but not exactly. Mm. Okay, how about you, Because Bezat? After... Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely, it's a new word, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know. I don't know the meaning. Ridiculous bag. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. No, no. But I know why you guessed no. that because this guy doesn't want to go to the camp, <clears throat> so yeah. the bag must be ugly. No, it's not ridiculous mm -hmm. or anything. A duffel bag duffel. is the bag you take with you to the gym. Uh huh. huh? Uh huh. Okay. So for mm -hmm. this guy, because it was a child, maybe it was a big duffel bag. Why? Why do I say yeah. it was big? Was roughly the size of me. What does it mean? What does it mean, Shirin, to say that a duffel bag that was roughly the size of me? Mm, rarely. No, roughly doesn't mean rarely. What does roughly, roughly mean? Um, yes, almost, yes, approximately, roughly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does rough mm -hmm. mean, Shirin? Do you know the meaning of rough? Well, mm -hmm. It's hard. Yes, very good. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard. It's not something that's soft. No, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was roughly the size of me means? Mm -hmm. Means? Is it, that was that wasn't size of me. Wasn't? Uh, 
the it was the size was not suitable for him yes for, yes exactly very good okay or uh -huh. we can say um, the size of the bag was not uh, pretty much uh, suitable for him yes because it was very big and um maybe the the child was just short and <laughs> it was yeah. as big as the child roughly means approximately yeah. almost the size of the child who was carrying it oh, yeah. yes roughly rough. Mm -hmm. have you heard the expression diamond in the rough diamond in the rough diamond in the rough you know the meaning of diamond right no. yes okay so diamond in the rough it's an expression can you guess the meaning? Mm. Something which is very valuable mm -hmm. and it has a rough protection around it. Very good. Very good guess. But it's an expression like saying, they say it about people, some people. Some people are diamonds in the rough. Can you guess what it means when we say that somebody is a diamond in the rough? <clears throat> It's very valuable. This person is very valuable person. You know the diamond is a kind of uh, is a kind of gem, huh? It's a valuable stone. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's yes. not just there in the nature. You can't just go somewhere and pick some pieces of diamond. You have to do something. You have to look for it. What should you do to get the diamond? You have to struggle to find something which is valuable. Yes, the the, the first definition that you gave, Behzad, what was it? There's something yeah. rough around it that protects it. So you have to yeah. you have to pull it away to get the diamond. It's about people who yeah. are um, who are very good people. Some people who are really nice, but they lack something. For example, you don't understand that they're nice people. Just because they ha they mm -hmm. ha they are always frowning, maybe, or maybe because they don't have much education. You you think that maybe he's not a good person, maybe he's not a valuable human being or something. But someone tells you no, he's diamond in the rough, means that he doesn't mm -hmm. know how to express himself. But if he gets oh, yeah. to do that, then you'll see that oh, he's such a mm -hmm. great man or just such a great woman. She's yeah. such a good scientist. Nobody notices that mm -hmm. because she doesn't know how to express it. She doesn't know how to show it in her in her manners. Or yeah. so that's diamond mm -hmm. in the rough. Shirin, do you know anyone what the, who's a diamond in a rough? What, what is the meaning of frowning? Frowning means when you push your eyebrows down to show that you're angry. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yes, What's yes. that mm -hmm. Um, Yes, exactly. Frowning. So some people mm -hmm. have those faces. They don't want to frown. They, yes. They're not angry. They just look like that. So, Shirin, yeah. Amesa, do you know anyone who's a diamond in a rough? Anyone around mm -hmm. you? I... Um, I I got to have uh, mm -hmm. meet a lot of guys during my you know education military services. Okay, wait, wait, who there, at wait, first... wait there, Basil. What did you say? I got to have to meet. What did you say? Say it again, please. Yeah, yeah I got mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. meet. No, I got to have meet. Do you mean to have met? Maybe I got to meet his I want to use this. I, I got to have meet. Did you I, say? Yeah, yeah, I got to meet. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so from the top. I got to meet a lot of guys mm -hmm. during my education and military services mm -hmm. who at first, you know, um, appeared. <clears throat> yeah, appeared or yeah, mm -hmm. seemed, mm -hmm. se mm -hmm. yeah, seemed, you know, um, not a good guy, but after a while, I found that they are like a diamond in a rough. In the rough, yes, exactly. They, they, I, 
after a while i found that they were like a diamond mm. they were in diamonds the in the rough because you're talking about plural people yeah. diamonds yeah. in the rough you could say that too yes very good yeah. how about you shirin or you mm -hmm. can make a sentence with it uh, make a sentence yes yeah. or mm -hmm. uh, the rough in here maybe if it helps you understand better is like stones see all the gems like diamond are inside some stones in the mines do you know what mine a mine is madan in the mines mm -hmm. they go and um, look for these pieces of stone that are rough and then mm -hmm. they use their hammers and all those tools which i'm not familiar with to get the diamond mm -hmm. out of it mm -hmm. so some people who are diamonds in the rough mm. uh, we have some people mm -hmm. around uh, us mm -hmm. Uh, who are diamond in a rough, so um, we uh, don't uh, find them mm -hmm. uh, as a suitable way. And uh, um, for example, I have a training, mm -hmm. and among my trainees, I have the one trainee mm -hmm. that uh, she was very, she's very simple. But after a while, mm -hmm. uh, I understand she is a diamond in a rough, yes. and right now she is uh, my best friend that I ever had. My best friend. Uh, and my best my friend. Best friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, she um, helps me a lot mm -hmm. to uh, change my uh, views. Uh, in the life mm -hmm. and uh, in life um, in life mm -hmm. yes okay good uh, sure you have some problem with relative pronouns okay i want you to go and review lesson 14 and 15 of grammar for ielts that's for relative pronouns i i just wanted to work on your relative pronouns yesterday but because mm -hmm. you didn't show up you didn't do it but i was okay mm -hmm. don't say that she was okay. Who was that was, mm -hmm. but not that she, uh -huh. because you mm -hmm. say the that, mm -hmm. not to say the she. Okay, so Beza, mm -hmm. did you want to say something? Yeah, we can use it only for people or for other stuff, like for example, a good book or a good instrument who uh, seems to us at first not not valuable, but mm -hmm. after a while, uh, we changed our mind about well, it. I don't know that. I've always um, heard and read uh, this expression about people, but never about yeah. things. Maybe. I have to check this. I'll write it down yeah, and you. check it and tell you. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Diamond in the Rough. Okay, go on. Mm -hmm. uh, was roughly the size of me to a parking mm -hmm. lot by the highway. Shirin, what does by the highway mean? To the, to the parking by the high, near the highway very good yes near the highway where a bus was waiting amid a commotion what does amid mean amid um, is that do you know the meaning of amid i knew but i forgot <laughs> you can guess it's very easy where a boss was waiting amid a commotion of boys full of boys and parents no amid doesn't mean full no amid oh uh, where a boss was it's similar waiting. to another word which is the synonym and you know amid uh, let me guess mm -hmm. uh, i went where a boss was waiting amid a commotion ah uh -huh. Consist of no. no, no, for example, Bezat and Shirin. When you go to pick up your, your daughter from school, you have to, when you, when you step into the yard of the school, you have to find her amid all the other students. Among, uh -huh, among. very good, yes, among mm -hmm. them in the middle of amid. In the middle of. Mm -hmm. In the middle of. 
Okay. Was waiting amid a commotion of boys and parents. What does commotion mean, Shirin? Commotion. Mm -hmm. El, um, com communication or bunch of. No, not, not uh, a lot of. Not a lot, lot of. of no, not a lot of in here. Commotion of boys and parents. Mm -hmm. Commotion. I don't guess, know. guess, and don't worry. Maybe your guess is wrong, but it's okay. Group? Just guess and don't worry. Group? Mm, not exactly group, no. But what does a group do? What happens when there are a lot of children in one place? Uh huh. Have you ever had Hi -oh -hoo? yes? What were you saying? Mm -hmm. Hi -oh -hoo? Yes, exactly. Yes, the noise that they make. <laughs> of course, this is A one noise. of the meanings. In here it means that, yes, the noise of boys and parents. There were all these children talking and shouting and screaming. So, amid the commotion, amid a commotion of boys and parents. I have a good news. Uh -huh. what Best that can guess. Excuse me? <laughs> Best that can guess. Oh, okay, yes, good, very good. But you should say, I have, <clears throat> I have good news, not I have a good news, because news is not uh -huh. countable. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. good news. Okay, good very news. good. That's really great. <laughs> okay, bravo. So, Bezad, your turn. Would you please read the rest of the paragraph? Yeah. We were uh, wearing mm -hmm. uh, shorts mm -hmm. and baseball caps and um, streaked with uh, sunscreen. Okay, wait there. Wait, Some... wait, wait there. So, we were wearing shorts and baseball caps and streaked with sunscreen. Sunscreen. What is the tense of this sentence? Uh, um, past uh, continuous. Yeah, why did the writer use past continuous for this? Because they were doing something in the past for a short period of time. Okay, yes. He's just describing that short period of time. Yeah. We were wearing shorts and baseball caps. You know the meaning of it. Strict with sunscreen. Yeah. What does strict mean? Maybe uh, he wants to. Um, uh, he wants to sh um, tell us that, for example, when someone uh, put on sunscreens mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, in um, some parts of the of your face, um, mm -hmm. we can see the streak of um, the sunscreen. For example, there is a difference uh, between the colors uh -huh. no. of different no, parts no, no. of the it face. It doesn't mean that. But before you get to the meaning, can you explain why strict is strict in here? Why did it get ED? Why is it past form? We were uh, um, strict. And what um, is this sentence we were, active yeah. or passive? And what is the tense? Passive. Uh -huh. Passive. Pass we were strict Very good. Excellent. with sunscreen. Yes, exactly. Because we're wearing shorts and baseball caps. And because we have were there, so the writer doesn't repeat it. Yeah. So we were streaked. What is the structure in this sentence? Uh, to, be, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. to be strict with some, Very something. Very good. Excellent. Now, I'll give you an example, then tell me what you think streak means in here. Because streak has several different meanings. We want the definition in here. When I was sad, I was crying, and my face was streaked with tears. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Um... Um, it means um, there, there are tears on your face mm -hmm. and your face is um, wet. is wet because of the tears. Yes, very good. But a better definition. Yes, you're very much close. 
When I say my face is streaked uh, with tears or my face is streaked with sunscreen, what does, what does it exactly mean? You're very much close. What you said is correct. I want a better, better definition. Because, you know, we, we don't say in, even in Persian, surat aghishte shode. Do we say that? Aghishte shode bit ash? I don't think we say that. Covered? No. Yes, very good. Covered? Yes, exactly. Covered. Mm -hmm. So to be yes. streaked with something means to be covered with something. But mm -hmm. have you heard streak um, elsewhere? Have you heard about streak in some other contexts? Streak? Yeah, streak. Mm -hmm. How about you, Beza? Have you? <laughs> no? Streak. Because I thought that um, you, meant, you meant some line or something. I thought you had some guesses that it means line. Am I correct? Line. Yes, line. yes, yes. Line. I thought so. Yes, so you were right. To keep a streak. To keep a streak. People keep a streak mm -hmm. of something or or lose it, lose the streak of something. Does it does it yes. ring a ball? Do you remember anything? Keep a streak means maybe it means um, to f to follow something. Uh -huh, very much close, but not exactly. You're close, but it doesn't exactly mean follow. No. Keep a keep a <clears throat> okay, Shirin. Um, you're a mm -hmm. trainer, okay? If someone comes to you and says mm -hmm. that I want to lose weight and no matter mm -hmm. what diet I go on, I cannot lose weight. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you, mm -hmm. they give you a report and they say, okay, um, two days in the week, I am on the diet, but five days mm -hmm. in the week, I'm not. And then again, mm -hmm. other two days I am, and then five days I'm not, and you say that, okay, you're not getting the result because you're not on a streak. Mm -hmm. it means you're not keeping the streak. It means what? Keep a rule or? No, not a rule. Mm -hmm. Keep the way. <laughs> yes, you're close, but not exactly. Maybe my example was not good. My example was not good. Um, for, for example, for example, you wait. You decide to wake up early in the morning. You say that okay, mm -hmm. starting tomorrow, okay. I want to wake up at five a.m. sharp, and then you wake up uh, at five a.m. tomorrow and the day after mm -hmm. tomorrow and the day after that, and you do this for mm -hmm. a, a week. That's when we say you're keeping. A streak of one week. Keep, um, keep continuation. Yes, yes. You, can, you don't say keep mm -hmm. continuation, but you continue doing something with no stop mm -hmm. in between. When you keep a streak of something, you continue doing this without any stop. I know the Farsi Tadawum. Being consistent. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. Being consistent is, is another synonym for it. Can you make a sentence with keeping a streak? Um, having kept a streak mm -hmm. and being ten uh, and having tenacity mm -hmm are some uh, characteristics of successful people. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, how about you, Shirin? Are there any streaks that you're mm -hmm. keeping nowadays? Yes. Like what? Learning English. Okay, so <laughs> non-stop. Okay, that's good. Okay, good example. Uh, okay. Keep a streak mm -hmm. is a... Uh, is a... Um, is the most important rule to being success for being successful huh for being, for being successful, successful. to succeed yeah. success is a verb mm -hmm. and keeping mm -hmm. a streak don't say keep a streak keeping mm -hmm. a streak is 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Bezat, would you please read the rest? You know the meaning of sunscreen and the rest. Uh, would you please yeah, read yeah. The, the next sentence? S somebody in the middle of the um, uh, scrum yes. was, uh, yeah, somebody in the middle of the scrum was carrying a clipboard and barking out orders. Yes. Okay, wait I was there, being wait there. sent. Wait there. Somebody in the middle of the scrum. Can you guess the meaning of scrum in here? Maybe um, when we have a lot of people mm. noise and they are noisy and there is a commotion, we can say scrum. Not exactly. I think Shirin knows the meaning of scrum. Someone was carrying cable. What you said, the, the first part, that there are a lot of people is, is correct, but it has nothing to do with the noise. It's um, a word that you use mm -hmm. for, for games like baseball, as he said, that they were mm -hmm. wearing baseball caps, baseball, rugby, mm -hmm. things like that. When players mm -hmm. gather together, they put their um, hands mm -hmm. over each other's shoulders and they're bent down. Yeah and say what they're going to do next, that's a scrum. But in here, in this, in this text, it just means crowd, in the middle of the crowd, because they were not playing there. So it's just crowd in here. Scrum in here means crowd. Okay. Was carrying yes, a clipboard. Yes. What's a clipboard, Bezat? Maybe uh, uh, it's a... Um, like a flag mm -hmm. or uh, yeah he was carrying a flag or no not um, a flag, no you you use clipboards in your job right clipboard. yes clipboards you're a doctor right yeah so you use clipboards i think um when when you're visiting a patient, yeah, he's hospitalized, of course, not just patients who yeah. who can walk. Uh, if you ask the nurse, okay, I don't know the special vocabulary, the jargon of your field of study, but uh, you yeah. wanna what what do you call it to get the do you say profile? Do you say do you say profile? Get the profile of a patient. Ah mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay, and then they <clears throat> write it down on a clipboard, and then they hang it. I know. On the bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, for most of the time we have a, uh, we have a, you know, um, uh, like a. Nowadays we have a small whiteboard uh -huh, okay. on top of the bed, and uh -huh. we have some information about mm -hmm. patient written on that board I see. Okay. and yeah so clipboard it is, is clipboard. old huh they no more use clipboards yeah nowadays we have um, whiteboard small small whiteboard okay because maybe my understanding of your job is based on movies <laughs> and in movies you <laughs> see these clipboards and nurses and doctors coming mm -hmm. and hanging the clipboards on the beds etc so that's a clipboard. Yeah. That's a clipboard. Do you mm -hmm. understand, Shirin, what clipboard means? Mm. Yes. What's that in Persian? I'm a dumbbell in Persian. Yes. Parvande. Not parvande. It is. Clipboard. I don't know that in Persian. I just want you to understand the meaning. I think it's just a piece of wood or something. Maybe some yes. artists could tell us the Persian equivalent. I don't know that. It doesn't matter. Just yeah. understand. It's a sign. Excuse me? Like a sign. Sign. No. Uh, something sign. that you put a sign. Not exactly. No. You could use it for a lot of things. Not a sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a clipboard and barking out orders. Bezat, can you guess what barking out means? Because I know you know the meaning of bark. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, that guy who was carrying a clipboard, he was shout, shouting and 
telling the audience um, the orders of the camp. Very good, excellent, yes. When you're shouting and you're angry, you're harsh, you're mm -hmm. rough, that's barking out. Hmm? Barking out. Mm -hmm. Would you please read the rest? Yeah. I was being sent to summer camp in Maine. Yes, what is Maine? <laughs> I don't know. The city? Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted you to say. City. See, it's in the yes. end of the uh, at the end of the sentence, and you see that the first with the capital. Yes, the first letter is capital. That's enough to tell mm -hmm. you this. It must be a proper yes. name, the name of a city or a state or something. Just that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Besed, I was being sent. I was being sent. What is the tense of this sentence? Uh, past continuous. Uh -huh. Uh, passive, passive, past continuous. Very good, exactly. Would you please read the next paragraph? There was the um, cloying uh -huh. scent uh -huh. of my father's hair tonic uh -huh. and the scratch of his uh, whiskers uh -huh. when at my mother's command he gave me an awkward kiss mm -hmm. goodbye that that first summer yes very good so there was a cloying scent of my father's hair tonic what's the hair tonic hair tonic um tonic which is used for hair yeah what is it and do it you? has a, mm -hmm. maybe uh it has a a, a good scent and it um, helps to fix the hair in a, for example, desired way. Yes, very good. It's like an oil. Yes, exactly. There was yeah. a cloying scent of my father's her time. What does scent mean? Scent means uh, smell. Yes, very means, good. Um, and what's a cloying smell? Is it a good thing or maybe, a bad thing? Chloe yeah. sent on my father's hair tonic and the scratch. Maybe I think it's ha it has an it has an uh, adjective that is yes. um, negative or that has negative. Yes, exactly. Uh, Very good. Yeah. Why did you say negative? Yes. What made you think that it was negative? Because after you know. Flowing scent, we had a uh, scratch and we had. Very good. Excellent. Uh, you know, Excellent. That's really great, Bezad. That's what I was talking about. When I say guess, mm -hmm. I mean this. Look at the other words, look at the context, then you understand that whether it's positive or negative. That's very good. Thank but, you. But scent, Bezad, do you think scent is used for something good, a good smell, or a bad smell? I think um, both of them, mm -hmm. for example, I uh, had some uh, scenes of a great movie, Scent of a Woman. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I think scent um, well, yeah. can be good and bad. Yes. It's usually think, good, but it but could most be of... bad. Yes, you yeah. are correct. Yeah. But cloying, you said, means something negative. You're right. Cloying means that it's disgusting, okay? It's a disgusting yeah. scent. But why? Why is it disgusting? But because it's too much. Like when some someone wears some kind of a perfume, but they wear too much of yeah. it. You like the perfume, but it's too yeah. much. It's cloying. That scent yeah, is yeah. a cloying scent. Maybe if it's just enough, if it's just enough amount, you'll like it. But just because it's too much, it hurts you. It's cloying. So the cloying scent of my father's hair tonic and the scratch of his whiskers. Do you know what whiskers mean? Uh, well, scratch of his whiskers when he gave me an awkward... Yes, exactly. But in English, Shireen, yes. What's the English form? Mustache. Mustache, yes, mustache. But it's not mustache. usually said about human beings, unless you you're sarcastic. You or dog. Yeah, yes, dog. dogs and cats. Yes, exactly. And it's actually a very common 
cat name too. It's a common cat name, like yeah. Fluffy, Mr. Whiskers, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. So because yes. the child is annoyed, or the man is annoyed about mm -hmm. his childhood, he refers to his father's mustache as Whiskers. But Beza, mm -hmm. what does scratch of his whiskers mean? Scratch of his whiskers. I know scratch, uh -huh. but scratch of his whiskers, maybe uh, it is um, his mustache uh -huh. is so, you know, rough uh -huh. and, uh, and what? Yes, rough that, um, uh -huh. and, yeah, uh -huh. that annoyed um, the boy when uh, his father kissed him. Exactly. Not soft. Yes, exactly. For example, my, my, brother, mm -hmm. my brother has a mustache, when has. has a mustache, mm -hmm. when when uh, he kissed me, it's a scratch. <laughs> it, it's what? What was that sentence? Please say it again. When he kissed me? When he, when he kisses me, uh, his mustache uh -huh. scratch, scratch me. Scratches my face. It scratches my okay, face. Okay, okay, very good. Yes, yeah, scratch. What is what is scratch in Persian? Just the word scratch. That was good, Shireen. Kharosh. Kharosh? No, mm. not kharosh. But no, no. it's similar to kharosh. It's kharosh. <laughs> okay, it's not kharosh. <laughs> There's another word for it, too. We have itching and we have scratching. Yes. What is the mm. difference? We translate both Kharish in, in Persian, but uh, they're used differently in English. What does it mean when I say I scratch something or something? No, I don't want to tell you this because then you'll understand what it means. Any guesses? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you have itching, you have this, uh, this sense that, for example, some parts of your body mm -hmm. um itches very good but when you when you start to you know uh, scratch um, for example the uh, the parts of your body yes. the part of your body that is itching that act is scratching very good. exactly yes very good. Thank exactly thank you very much there's an expression they say to be itching to do something do you know what it means I say, for example, I'm itching, itching to have, uh -huh. yeah, to have temptation to do something. Yeah, not exactly. No temptation. What do you mean? Temptation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Temptation. Can you give me an example? Let me see if you've understood it correctly. Temptation is best, best say, but if you think that it, it's something negative, it's not negative. To be itching to do something yes, yes. when you, for example, when um, you want to do something and you are not sure, but uh, you you are uh, thinking with yourself mm -hmm. uh, every now and then to do uh, and start that that thing. Did you say you're not sure? You want to do something, but you're not sure. Maybe. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't have anything to do with being sure or not. But but mm -hmm. your guess was very much close. It means that you're eager to do something. You want to do something yes, so yes. much. I'm itching. Eager. Yes, yeah. you you're so eager to do that. You're you're mm -hmm. itching to to I don't know, take the IELTS test. You're itching to yeah. um jump from the 10th floor of a building maybe okay yeah. <laughs> itching to do something means you're very much eager to do something would you please make a sentence to be itching and willing something. like willing yes very much willing to do something yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah make the, make a sentence please i'm itching to i'm itching i have itching no, no, not I have itching. I'm itching. I just typed uh, it here. I'm oh, itching. Yes, yes, I'm itching. <laughs> I'm itching to mm -hmm. 
Mm, take uh, uh, IELTS exam. Take the IELTS exam, yes. Okay. That was my example. You just stole it. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> make, make someone a, make someone because we say mm -hmm. my ish is IELTS exam. IELTS exam. I don't know if that's correct. My, my ish is. I'm not sure. Okay, but that that was mine. Uh, make another sentence. Mm -hmm. I'm based on Yeah. Um. Uh, last month I was itching to buy a house mm -hmm. and I did that. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about <laughs> Thank you. you. How about you, Shireen? Mm, I don't know is it correct or That's not. Okay. I'm Sorry. itching. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm itching uh, to. Uh, I'm itching. I'm itching. Go to I'm itching to helping to help my daughter mm -hmm. to win uh, her competition. To win, to win the competition. To win. Her competition. Yes, you could say that. Yes, and Beza, you don't say to abroad. Okay, you can. To go you, abroad. The only preposition you use is from abroad, not to abroad or in abroad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abroad. Okay, very good. Now the rest of the sentence. There was a clawing scent of my father's scratch of the whiskers. When, when would you please read this part? Um. <laughs> Uh, where was it? Mm. I just scrolled. At my mother's command. At my mother's command. Can you see this? Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Well. Yeah. Um, uh, mother's his whiskers. When, mm -hmm. at my mother's command, mm -hmm. he gave me an awkward mm -hmm. kiss goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, that first. That first summer. Very good. At my mother's command means um, because her mother told her told his uh, his mother told uh, his to his to his father to do that. Yes, very good. He gave me an awkward kiss. What does awkward mean in English? In English, mm -hmm. awkward means um, unusual or. Uh, Something that is uh, not correct, mm, no. or not exactly, as you no. said in yeah, as you said, mm -hmm. it means in Farsi it exactly means that's for Okay, that was that context. This context is different. Uh, in, yeah. in here it means something <laughs> else. Awkward has several different meanings. In here it means something yeah. else. Um, weird. Close, but not exactly weird. An awkward kiss goodbye. That you can person. say weird, but not exactly. It doesn't exactly mean weird in here. Just, just answer this one. When he says that his father gave him an awkward kiss, does this mean that the father wanted to kiss him or did not want to? No. Unwilling. He, he didn't want to. It, huh? it means that the father yeah. was not that kissing type. He just kissed mm -hmm. his son because the mother commanded that, because the mother mm -hmm. ordered him to do so. So when you do something mm -hmm. that you don't want to do, but someone tells you and you, you have to do it, it's awkward. You don't, of course, do yeah. it naturally. What's that in Persian? Mm -hmm. Yes, you could say that. Or also, Ejbari. excuse me? Ejbari. No, not um, ejbari, no. When you do something that's hmm. awkward, uh, it's not always like that. You don't want to do it, you don't know what to do, and you're not doing it correctly. Muazzabi <laughs> huh? Yes. Okay? You don't want to talk to someone. You don't want to talk to someone. You don't want to see them, and then they show up at your door. At your at the door of your apartment or your office, 
You open the door, you see them. Yeah. You have to talk to them. You don't want to. And you're awkward. The situation is awkward. This is awkward. Yeah. Okay? Awkward yes, yes. refer to people or situations. An awkward kiss. Yes. What is the structure in this sentence? There's a structure in here. He, he gave me an awkward kiss. See, that is the rest. Kiss goodbye. To give someone something. Mm, that is very general. Make it more specific. Specific to this sentence. To give, to give someone. To give someone. A kiss. Uh, to give someone a kiss, a kiss, goodbye. A kiss goodbye. That's the par a part of this. To give someone yes, a kiss yes. goodbye or kiss someone goodbye. I kissed him goodbye. Kiss him. I gave him a kiss goodbye. <laughs> Means Okay? That first. Yeah. Thing. Okay, would you please read the rest of the paragraph? Yeah, I disappeared inside the bus mm -hmm. with my mother's. Uh, parting farewells mm -hmm. in my ears. Okay. Farewells in my ears. You'll be, You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And? And don't let anyone touch you. Yes. Okay, I disappeared inside the bus. You understand this part. With my mother's yes. parting farewells. Do you know the meaning of farewell and parting in here? With my mother's Parting farewells in my ears. Maybe, hmm? maybe, uh, maybe, um, his mother, um, told, um, mm -hmm. gave him, mm -hmm. gave him some pieces, uh, some pieces of advice. And yeah, and he uh, now he says, um, uh, he was uh, reviewing uh, those advice. Yes, that is good advice. Uh, yeah. Yes, that is correct. But it, what does parting mean in here? Yeah. What does parting mean? Don't mistake this one for parting. These are two yes. different words. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know the meaning of the second part? Parting. Parting, yeah, to. Uh, to uh, th throwing a party just that or just throw holding a party just that just throw. or take or take part take part taking part in the party yes exactly to go to parties and having fun all the time that's parting but parting comes from part what does yeah, part, part mean uh, maybe those advice uh, th that um, his mother gave him has um, a lot of parts. No, no, not that. No. Mm -hmm. In here, of course, parting is an adjective, but it comes from the verb part, part as a verb. Do you know the meaning of yes. part as a verb? They say, we wanted to part ways. We were friends you for 10 years, but in 1984, yeah. we decided to part ways. She went to the U.S. and I moved to Germany. Parted uh -huh. away. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. They separated. Yes. They separated. Separate. Because they're saying goodbye, the mother is going home, the son is going to the camp. They are parting their ways. They're mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. separated yes, yes, from one another. Part means land, yes, okay? yes. But farewell. Mm -hmm. What does farewell mean? <laughs> no. Farewell. You can guess. Farewell no. is a very ancient word. It's very old. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe uh, his mother uh, had. Um, a lot of you know good uh, wishes for him. No, not that. No, farewell is something that you say when you want to say goodbye. I just said it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. What's that? Same. I just said it. Goodbye. Yes, exactly. <laughs> goodbye. Exactly. Yeah. An <laughs> yeah. ancient form of saying goodbye. What's that in Persian? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Shirin was saying it. What was that? Bedrood. Yes, exactly. Bedrood. That's very ancient. We don't say it these days. Farewell. Yes. Farewell is a verb too. It's like saying goodbye. Farewell, my friends. Also in here, mm -hmm. in here, farewell is a noun and it's plural. Farewells. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Because the mother just doesn't just say goodbye once. He says, okay, she says, okay, mm -hmm. goodbye, goodbye, my son. See you later, my son. Be careful. All of these, yeah. all of these are ways of saying goodbye, ways of saying farewell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be fine and don't let anyone touch you. That's something, well, this mother had to say. Yeah. Before we end the class, I wanted you to read this part. This is, of course, um, chosen from the middle of the text. And Shirin, would you please read this part? The red part. Yes. Mm -hmm. I imagine my parents were firing up a blender full of uh, the dockeries. Dockeries, yes. Dockeries and uh, joining a Kung, Kunga line of Kunga line, Kunga line of birds mm -hmm. who had also disposed of a children. Yes, exactly. I imagine my parents were firing up a blender. What's a blender, Shirin? Mixer. Yes, very blender. Good. Mixer. Blend. What does it mean to fire up a blender? Turn on very a good. blender. Exactly, very good. To turn on a blender. It's an informal way of saying it. We say it about cars mm -hmm. too. For example, you have a, 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 a Hyundai, maybe. Mm -hmm. How do you Hyundai. type Hyundai? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know mm -hmm. how you spell Hyundai. But I want to I want to tell you to start your car and um, come to me, come to my apartment. I say, okay, Shireen, mm -hmm. fire up the Hyundai and come to my apartment. Mm -hmm. That's an informal saying, mm -hmm. yeah, informal way of saying it. Mm -hmm. Firing up a blender mm -hmm. full of dockery. What's a dockery? Dockeries. Dockeries, yes. No, I don't <laughs> require requests. No. I do. It's a blender. Mm, you don't, don't put requests in a blender. Bezot, how about you? You can guess. I don't know. Okay, they're foreigners. I they're not Iranians. They're, they're not Muslims. Them. So when they get rid of their parents, what do they do with their blenders? They drink, huh? To be happy because they got rid of their children. <laughs> so dockery, <laughs> dockery is a kind of cocktail. It's a kind of drink. And join <laughs> Conga line of neighbors. What's a conga line? Conga line of neighbors. Maybe uh, their neighbors were doing the same thing. Exactly. Very good. And they that joined very them. Good guess. Very good. Excellent. But conga line doesn't mean that. The part that you said, the neighbors were doing the same thing was correct. Who had also disposed of their children. Conga line is a line that you form when you want to dance, like Kurdish dance, you know, you know, Kurdish dance. They form a line, everyone takes the other person's hand and they try dancing. But usually they form a circle. That's a conga line. When they're happy and they mm -hmm. want to dance, okay? Who had mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. disposed of their children. Do you know the meaning of dispose, Shireen? Dispose. Mm -hmm. Mm, this Bezat must know this, don't you, Bezat? Dispose. I know what disposable means. Exactly, that's the same. Comes from the same verb. Disposable. What does it mean, Bezat? Disposable uh -huh. means uh, um, we have disposable and reusable. When you can use something for several times, mm -hmm. it's it is. It is called reusable, mm -hmm. but disposable when you use uh, you, for, 
you use something and after that you have to put it away very good very good so you use something once and then you have to put it away you have to put it in trash yeah. right like disposable yeah. stuff yeah. in a hospital mm -hmm. in a doctor's office mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. to mm -hmm. dispose of something means for example nowadays doctors dispose of their gloves in their offices or in the hospital you dispose of your surgical gloves you get rid yes, of them or facial mask yes you get rid of mm -hmm. them you put them away because they're disposable mm -hmm. you put them away so can you tell me this is yeah. this is chosen from the uh, text from the text from this article and so far you know mm -hmm. what the writer means he didn't like the camp. He was sent mm. to the camp. So, what does he mean by this? Mm. It means that um, their neighbors mm -hmm. um, are um, uh, now they are very happy. Mm -hmm. They uh, want to drink because they uh, got rid of their children. Yes. How? How did they get rid of their children? By, by, sending, by sending them to ca summer exactly. camp. By sending Some... them to their summer camps. Do you get happy? Do you dispose of your children too, like that? <laughs> actually, actually, not. Okay, no. But so, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, mm -hmm. but I can say it's excellent. Your method is excellent. Yes, Thank very. You. I very nice yeah yeah. Appreciate I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. very nice <laughs> and we decided. We decided to see. To watch movie. To watch movies without subtitles. Yeah. Or with subtitles. Yes. yes. Okay. Exactly. Good. Good. So, which movie and did you choose to watch? The series. Aha! Uh -huh. Series. Five not movies. House. Series. Series. Yeah. Which series? Desperate Housewives or another? No, Desperate Wives. Housewives. Housewives. Yes. It's not a very yes. deep movie. It's not a deep TV series. The story is not very mm -hmm. good, but the English that's used in this TV series is yeah. really excellent. Really excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's very nice of mm -hmm. you. And if you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer. No. No? No questions? No. Yeah. Do you think it's good for me to take part in your movie? Movie class? Uh, yeah, movie class? Need, uh, Saturday. Yes, but I don't think you need yeah. the movie class. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I even think that Shirin doesn't need it really that much. Uh, I think that she's back on track and um, she, she knows how to start for IELTS now if she wants to. I think so. Yes. If you like, you can take part, but I don't think you need that class because it's just one hour. Mm -hmm. There are other uh, students in the class who are beginners, and I think it will be really yeah. boring for you to stay in the class and mm -hmm. listen to them. I think so. I don't but know. I like it because before the class, I take a time, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, I think it's very useful for me. <laughs> it is useful. Although you have to wait yes. for others to talk. No, it's not important. It's important that I hear your sound and you teach me. Okay. Your voice, <laughs> not sound, okay? Voice is oh, for people, you. sound is for things. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much, Shireen. And Bezad, if you like... Thank you so much. If you like, yes, of course, you yeah. can um, take part in the class. And um, actually, we've started a new movie. And because this session, we didn't get the chance to hold the class, the mm -hmm. second session yeah. will be next week. And uh, Shirin was in the yeah. class. She knows where we are. If you want, you, you yeah. can just try it for once and see if you like it. See yeah. if it's good for you and useful for you. If it is, of course, yeah. you will not take part in the class. I'll be glad. Yeah. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.